bienvenidos a Lightspeed like Spanish. This is another um, quick video on past tense tips. And today I want to, I want to talk about the, the way that we use the preterite with the imperfect. One important thing to remember is this, that two preterite actions can't happen at the same time. So if you were talking about two things, one of them will have to be in the imperfect. And I'm talking about two things happening at the same time. One of them has to be in the imperfect. And one can be in the preterite. Or you can have two things in the imperfect. But I'll give you some examples. This sentence, if I say, um, when I got there, you weren't there. When I got there, when I arrived, better, yeah, we'll do that. When I arrived, you weren't there. And now that used to cause me lots of confusion because I would think, Oh, right. Uh, when I got there, you weren't there. So, But that's in the moment. So, you know, obviously we're, we're talking about the, the preterite being like a solid block of action and something you can measure. So I used to think, right, when I got there, I know exactly what time it was and you weren't there. Oh, the wind. Just move over here so we're out of the wind. You weren't there. And I used to think... Right, so if, if I, I know the time that you weren't there, surely that's got to be measurable. Okay. So, you don't even need to go there in your mind about, you know, when I got there, was it measurable? What we've got are two actions happening at exactly the same time. Okay, we've got, I arrived, Jege, you weren't there. So, because there are two things happening at the same time, one of them, por obligación, has to be the imperfect. And which one is the imperfect? How do you know which one it is? Well, it's the background one. Typically, it's going to be the one that's longer. So I arrived in a moment. It took me a, like a, a blip vert to arrive, a blip second. However, you weren't there and you weren't there before I arrived and you weren't there after I left. So that's the longer one. So that's how we know that that's going to be the imperfect. So what would that sentence be? How would you say that? When I arrived, you weren't there. That's going to be, Cuando llegué, tú no estabas. All right, so we've got llegué, preterite. That's the action, yeah? I arrived, an action. But you weren't there, tú no estabas. So that's the background event that was going on. Remember, the, the, the preterite is the action tense, but the imperfect's also an action. But what it is, it's an a description of an action rather than an action doing an action yeah that's the difference obviously all verbs are actions aren't they but you can use a, a description of an action so let's have a think of another example um, this one while I watched the television my wife ate a sandwich okay while I watched the television my wife ate a sandwich so two things happening at the same time which one is the longer of the two? Which one should be imperfect? One of them has to be imperfect. There's no two ways about it. Which one? What's your choice? Your choice. It all depends on who took the longest. Now, in the sentence, while I watched the, the, the television, my wife ate a sandwich. So the, the sense is that maybe the television went on for longer watching. If that was the case, if that were the case, you would say, mientras veía la televisión. Okay, so, that mientras veía. So, mientras veía la televisión. Now, the, the, the question is, is the wife eating the sandwich, is it preterite or is it imperfect? Whilst I was eating, watching the television, my wife was eating a sandwich. That's one option. Whilst I was watching the television, my wife ate a sandwich. So really, the both of them are valid. But listen to what happens. If I say, Mientras veía la televisión, mi mujer se comía un sándwich. Okay? And I'm using say because she ate it all up. Okay? Now, if I say that to a native speaker, what they have in their mind is a timeline of both things happening at the same time and lasting for around about the same length of time. So that for the during the period that I watched the TV, my wife was eating a sandwich. All right, so that's too imperfect. Mientras veía la televisión, mi mujer 
comía, se comía un sándwich. Right? But if I then I change the sandwich one, and I say, mientras veía la televisión, mi mujer se comió un sándwich. What I've done to a native speaker is I've put the eating of the sandwich much shorter, a shorter period of time than watching the TV. So they, in their timeline, they're going to see somebody watching the TV and uh, this very brief eating of a sandwich. So the preterite always encapsulates something into a much smaller block of action. Obviously, if you add on seven hours, then it's longer. But without any time frame, it happens, boom, like that. And the imperfect action happens like that, okay? So you choose. Remember, all of the time with the past, you, what you choose to say is how people understand it. If you want two actions to happen more or less last the same length of time, then you just use two imperfects. But if you want one action to be longer than the other, then you do imperfect and the preterite, okay? But what you can't do is to do two preterite and want them to happen at the same time. That's the only difference, all right? Okay, I'll leave that with you. Have a think about it and have a go at making some sentences where you have a longer action and a shorter one with the preterite or two long actions, okay? Hasta luego, adiós.